Hi, I've just done this. It's um, based on this French uh, farmhouse. Um, and I'm trying to make sense of it to do a commission of it. I think I've roughed it out in watercolour, but I'm not very really happy with watercolour. I'm not a watercolour painter of buildings anyway, so I don't practice them. I do the landscapes, as you know. But, uh, but uh, I'm going to go over this with. Um, with acrylic because I think I could do it better, I can fiddle around with it more than with a watercolour. So I'm going to build up an impasto, it's, it's unprimed, I don't want to cover it up, I just want to paint over it. So I, I'm going to put in a, put in a sky and see how we, how we go. Let's just cover this up and I'll, I'll go into the, well I'll spray it I think. Make the paint go a bit smoother. I'll just I'm going to stipple, I think, the uh, the foliage, these trees. Oops. Right, okay. A sunny day. I'm hoping some of it will show through. I'll just use a bit of water in this. And then I can put in some nice clouds, light summery clouds. Lovely summery day today in London. Uh, so, a touch of sienna, a bit of white. Touch of red. Well, I just wasn't in my comfort zone with the, the watercolour. You need to practice. If you're going to do architectural subjects, you've got to practice them. I spent a year doing Venice and, and but only in oil. And you can work at them so you, you get them as good as you can. And spend a lot of time, but I was, I was taking two days to do those, these Venice impressions. Okay, let's just get that nice and... Okay, this is a nice sort of summery sky. Let's just put, put the blue, that blue back. And then go with a nice bit of impasto for the uh, cloud. clouds behind the trees. Okay, we'll go back over that in a minute. Let's, I'm going to put in the uh, the ground outside and it's a sort of a, a grey Oakery Put some of that sky colour back in there. Spread that over there. Got some, got some black in there.
All right. Uh, do a little bit of stippling on that. See what happens. Do for a moment. Uh, each flat, uh, let's do a bit of the, the bit of the roof. Put some of that in. Well, that's it. So it's blue, bluey black, but very pale. Just get some colour on there. Maybe I should practice buildings more. I, I, I usually, well, if I put them in the landscape, they're very, very simply stated because I don't want them to clash with or compete with the with the land. This is what I love to do. Right, well, that's, that's more. Let's let's a bit of oakery light on some of this here. Whoops. So that's that one. But let's get a bit of a, a wash of um, colour over the building now. Let's just give it a spray. I'm painting this on arches, 140 pounds. Uh, now ochre. A little white, slightly grey. This is a sort of an underpainting here. exercise in this is going to be to show the bricks with the like the stone bricks without actually showing them just indicate them I'm using a slightly gray gray mix here And the the end wall, the flank the wall is quite light. Get a more more light, lighter. Try to keep everything soft when you're doing all this. So a bit of, bit of umber with that, Ye uh, yellow ochre for the walls. Right, let's get that straight there. Mm. 
No, that's fine. Well, I think that's looking better already. I haven't used the pilot for a, for a week, so it's a bit dry. Oh, here's the rain. Drag over that a little bit. Oh, that's looking better already, I think. Right, let's get all that covered there. I'm going to try to keep things vertical and, hold, and in perspective because it will look so bad in my That's why I scrapped the watercolour. It just wasn't going, going well. Let's uh, put out some burnt umber, uh, or Van Dyke Brown even. Van Dyke Brown is very similar to burnt umber. Save me hunting. Light on on here. Let that dry brush up over the uh, high spots. I'm going to put in some stipple now. I've, I've, I'm going to use this, I've got a small hake here somewhere. Um, and I'm going to just need a bit, a bit of um, viridian, yellow ochre, so we get some nice light cutting here. Bit of black. Much happier with the solid medium for this subject, as you can see. This is a bit of a nice bit of light coming through here.
and similar over here. some on the top of that. Just catching the light. More yellow greens, but put these in here. Then we go with the darks. Dark green. My black's gone right, pretty tacky. Black and yellow make wonderful greens. The dark shadow on this tree is overhead. Hello, Harry. Harry, that pussycat's come up to see us. Right, that'll do for the moment. Put a bit of detail in now. When you're using acrylic, you don't get a lot of time to clean your brushes before the paint renders them unusable. I think I'm going to use the half inch flat brush for <coughs> doing my details. So it's a sort of burnt umber. And just using that to Van Dyke Brown for this. Hello Harry, what are you doing? 
this pussy cat. Harry, come on. Oi, so he says him behind me. Oi, come on. Oh, Harry, come here, come here. He's wet, he's been out in the rain. See if I can get these nice and vertical. And just there. And it's sort of lintra along here. What a seal. Burnt sienna is, uh, seems to be the colour of the lot of the paint on these glazing bars. I'm just putting in where I see the darks. Sorry if I'm masking you. some red bricks around the frame. Right. Right, let's go and do, do that window there now. So you see your... the Van Dyke Brown. They're much easier to do than watercolour. There isn't really a seal there. Uh, I can only do an approximate rendering of this. Let's not straight that glazing bar. Oh, it's belted down now. Right, I'm going to put in the, the red, the red bricks now around the, around here.
Right, let's carry on with those top windows now. That's going downhill. Or leading over, shall I say. And when you go over the edge, it doesn't matter because you can easily go and uh, straighten them up. These windows are reflecting the sky. So uh, they're slightly blue. Right, I'll go back over that one. And put in those red. So I'm mixing a bit of red with a bit of uh, sienna. So there's one, two windows with that round. This one has got some. I'll just, I'll just indicate it when do it graphically. One I can paint around. sort of lintel across these. Right, so I'm going to stop there and bring that to a grub. I've done quite a bit of work on this, um, just titivating it now. I seem to have, um, there's a drain pipe coming down there, I'm going to put that in. That's a sort of a bluey colour, bluey grey, so I don't know why it should be bluey grey. And I want to explain, now look at this. Uh, Right, okay. Um, what I've done is to find a way of showing all these stones <coughs> without painting them. So what I've done, I've, I've scumbled over with a dark mix of a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of Van Dyke Brown, aka um, burnt umber, over the high spots and then just put in a few little lines of, of light pointing. Because that's the best I, I can do really. Um, also, it's trying to get the, the perspective is going up slightly there, converging, sort of a vanishing point here. But um, it's got a little bit of ride there, so let's see if we can just turn something up there. 
bit better. It's been quite a quite a tricky tricky one, and I've, but some of the stones have come out quite well. I've had to guess this here because I've removed the stucco because the stucco has been removed by the owner of this house. So I'm just mixing just a bit of get that wall vertical there. And I'm going to put in a bit of bit of tree here. Uh, Just some bits and pieces there, but not my best foliage. But I reckon I've spent enough sort of time on this. But I want you to just get some light. That Van Dyke brown is very good for mixing light grey browns. I just want to see some separation there. And the light on that side. How's that? It's a little bit better. And then by just a few little joints just indicated. Um, so I think that's about the best I'm going to get with that. The chimney stack on the top. It's a sort of um, stuccoed. Uh, with some bits of light on it, the chimney pots, I don't know what the colour they are, I can't really see them. Um, I'm a bit lost with the just difference between the sky and the sky coming through the leaves. Maybe I need to just do a bit darker. I'm going to cramp things now. It's constant light against dark. But uh, this is quite a barren, plain bit of, uh, I don't know, tacked down uh, shingle. I don't know what it is really. So let's just have a little bit of a dry brush over that. Bit of, bit of white and a bit of, bit of ochre. Just a, Give something like that. Let's just, let's just, let's just drag over some of this. A bit of light. I can understand. Well, anyway, that's that's the best I'm going to get with that. Let's put it in a mount. Uh, right. So. <coughs> Out here will do. Find a bit. Okay, well, so what have we got? I've put plenty of uh, contrast on that roof. There, there it is. See that? Ignoring this this bit here because that's been removed, so that the whole cottage or the collection of farm buildings are similar. I've just indicated that's we're going over a bit there. Let's see if I can just straighten that up a little bit. Right, mind my head. Let's just go. Sort of going not vertical there. So we've got we've got some some red rubbers round the. I think that's what they're called. Just these. Uh, around there. Can't indicate them too. Solidly. Uh, 
Britain, it's a bit better. I don't think there's any glazing bars in there. There are some light, very light sort of. Right, let's just put them in. Uh, right, I, I, I can just fiddle around with this for like, hours and hours and hours. But there comes a time when you've just got to call it a day. So we'll just put a little bit of a window oh, reflecting uh, some sunlight. in there so I'll just mix up a bit of white with a bit of bit of that uh, something like that um, you can see a bit of light in there so if it's there just put it in Right, okay. Uh, so I know we'll just so there. Okay, but I'm going to let that go. Thanks for watching. I did not find this easy at all. But then it's a it's sort of a commission for some of my son knows whose parents have bought the cottages the collection of cottages in in France. Uh. Right, okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.